CompTIA ITF plus complete training course. Exam Objective 4.2 Given a scenario, use programming organizational techniques and interpret logic. Looping Up till now, we have looked at code running line by line, from top to bottom. Then we moved on to branching which provided our programs with the power of choice. But now we are going to add one more logical component to our coding repertoire. Looping Programming loops are structures in coding that enable the repetition of a specific set of instructions until a certain condition is no longer met. They allow for automating repetitive tasks, making your code more efficient and concise. Using the power of flowcharts once again, I will illustrate the concept of a programming loop. As usual, we will start at the top of our code. Next in the code, we encounter a loop statement. Here we are presented with a decision in the program as denoted by the diamond-shaped symbol. This flowchart displays a decision of whether to enter the loop or continue on with the remainder of the code. If we enter the loop, we will execute the code included inside the loop. In this case, we have a process to be performed. And then an output of some sort. After the code inside the loop is executed, we return back to the decision point. Here we are once again presented with the option to enter the loop or continue on with the remainder of the code. This looping process can be repeated as many times as necessary by the program. Once the program has finished with the loop, it will continue on with any remaining code statements or in our case, reach the end of the program. Now that we have discussed the basic concept of looping, in the next few videos, we will progress deeper into this topic by exploring two common loop types. The while loop and the for loop. The while loop and the for loop. The while loop and the for loop. Uh oh. Looks like I got caught in a loop myself. <laughs>